All right, I just installed the new Unity uh, 11.04, and um, you know, pretty much if you've seen any other YouTube video, you know, you know, there's, there's, it, you pretty much know it by now. It's a big change. You know, the, the environment's completely different. You know, there's a, a dock over here on the side, and you know, it's pretty much locked down. You can, you can modify it. You can change the icon, change the size, uh, little things like that. But other than that, it's pretty much, you know, it is what it is. And uh, if you've seen those videos, you pretty much know what's going on already. And um, so basically, you probably noticed my funny wallpaper here, and I kind of wish they would have had this installed by default. But <laughs> but uh, instead of me showing you what's new and what's what's cool, I just kind of want to show you like how to actually to use this thing, I guess, because it's very very keyboard centric. You know, you really got to learn the keyboard shortcuts to actually be, well, for, in my opinion at least, to be somewhat productive, to get around. You know what I mean? So. So first off, it says uh, Super Hold invokes the launcher. So uh, the Super Key is basically your window key. So you click the, if you tap the Super Key, it brings your dashboard, right? So tap it again, it gets rid of it. So if you hold down the Super Key, you're going to notice on the left over here, there's numbers. And these numbers are your numbers on the top of your, your keypad. So, so if I click one, while I'm holding down the Super Key, my home folder launches. So let's try one again, and it didn't launch it. So, so in order to launch a second home folder, you have to put your mouse over the cursor. I mean, mouse over the icon, and uh, basically middle click, and there's your second home folder. So, anyways, that's that. So it says here Super Shift. That's what I just showed you. So, well, not really. It says super shift plus one through zero opens it in, in this application already open. Okay, let's try that then. So super one. All right, now super shift and one. Okay, so if you hold down super and shift plus the same number of the uh, of the application, which was number one from a home folder, it'll actually open a second folder. So all right. All right. Now what? What else is there? Uh, super shift, super T, super T. That that's the uh, huh, the trash. All right. Okay. Alt plus F one. What does that do? It highlighted my my home folder. Put focus on the launcher. Use arrow keys to navigate. Okay, so Alt plus F1 makes you, I guess, brings the focus to the launcher, like it says, and you use your arrow keys to navigate. So that's pretty cool. All right, Super A application lens. So like your application lens is basically your dashboard. So if you hit Super, go to More Apps. And go to installed apps. This is like your applications. This is everything that's installed. So, super A. There it goes. It's just a straightforward shortcut to this to this location. All right. So super F is for the folders. And I believe it's right here. Folders. So this is the folder lens. So super F. And there it is, a shortcut to it. All right, on this right side here, it says window placement. I don't have these keys on my on my on my uh, what do you call it? On my keyboard here because I'm using a laptop. So basically, that's just like your window management, like your home folder, like moving it to the left or to the right. I believe that's what it does. Places at bottom of corner of screen. So if you want to like control Alt number one, two, or three, it'll like actually put it here or put it here, put it here or whatever. You know, and you still have the same features as before, the snapping feature. So that's cool. It still has that. I actually like that. All right. Let's see uh, the dash. Alt F2. All right. Run a command. And this it also stores your history. So if I were to type like Banshee, I guess, B-A-N. There it is right there. Click on that. And it should launch Banshee. I take a little bit. Let's see panel. Okay, there it goes. There's Banshee. So let me just go ahead and close that. 
And also when you close your, your Banshee here, um, the G is taking a while, close that. It'll still be running over here. See, there's your pause and, and uh, you know, forward and backwards, just like before in 1010. But this time around, they actually have an option for playlist when you actually, uh, you know, add a playlist. So that's pretty cool. Okay, what else did they have here? Workspace management, the panel opens first menu on the panel, F10. So let's click on F10, and it does that. Okay, so F10 again. And you can use your arrow keys to move around and, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. All right. Escape closes without uh, without choosing anything. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Super W and Super D. <laughs> so let's launch a home folder. And let's launch two of them. Middle click is also another way. I think I said this already before. So middle click. There's my other home folder. So Super D hides the desktop. And Super W does the window thing where you can actually see what you're doing. You know, it kind of gathers all the win windows together. Let me open Firefox to give you a better idea. So, say like Firefox is open and see how it's covering these two windows back here. So, just hit Super W and does that. Then you just select which window you want to, you know, bring forward. So, click on that and it brings it forward. So, uh, you know, I use this this same thing on my on my standard desktop, anyways. So it's pretty cool. I, I'm used to that one. But anyways, what else can I can I show you? I can't really go too long because my time limit. So sorry if I'm rushing through it. Workspace management. What says Shift Alt Up? Okay, that's uh, this right here. Control Shift. I mean Shift Alt. You know, that's your workspace switcher. Like so. Also Super and S does that. And you can also drag stuff around, which is something very, very useful. Super S. You can drag this here, drag it there. You know, very cool. The only problem I have with this now is that one thing I noticed. See, like I have this empty folder. I can't drag to a second desktop here. See? I can't do that. I kind of wish that you can. I'm sure you can. There's a compass setting for that. I'll, I'll look into it, but... But yeah, you can't do that. The only way to drag to another desktop is by uh, actually doing this, you know, dragging over here. Rover, well, I guess you can't now. Oh, you can't do that with, I'm sorry. I'm totally saying that wrong. You can never, when you're when you're in the expo view, you can't drag folders, but you can drag windows. But when, you, when you're used to the cube, um, you can actually drag these little folders and files around the cube. You know, say like you have a um, GIMP open and you have a, a picture in a folder on the opposite side, opposite side of the cube, you can just grab that picture and just flip it around and drop it into GIMP and, it, and it, you know, it's quicker that way. But anyways, let me just move that to uh, the trash here. And um, what else? Well, that's really it for now. I'll put a link in the description for this wallpaper to kind of give you guys a, you know, a head start on this. Um, I got to learn it, of course, you know. <laughs> something I gotta get used to if I'm gonna continue on with this but uh but yeah like I said before I do like it I don't really see myself using it full-time on my desktop but I do have it installed on my secondary machine and it works just fine you know it's perfect for that machine so anyways uh thanks for watching see you guys later